Welcome back, DigiDees, to our brand new episode of That's Right, Hyper Light Drifter, where today we're going to be trying to figure out and complete the South Side. We're going to find out all the little weird kind of touchy tendrils of plot points that we haven't been able to find before. I did a little bit of research into the area, and I tell you what, after just playing for a couple of moments, I swear to God, I played for all 15 seconds until I realized that last episode, I was an idiot. I was an absolute buffoon. I was an absolute imbecile. I was the town uh, laughing stock. Uh, I don't know much about stocks, but I do know that, hey, here's an entirely different direction that we haven't even gone yet. That's right, right here to the right side. That's why, that's why, blah, 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 that's how we know that it's always the right side because we need to go off to the right. We have not explored this section at all. We are still missing three different other cores as part of our kind of primary. Let's take out some of these guys first. We take a look at the area. There in the very top left, we have five cores, which means that we're still missing three other cores. And those three other cores are what is going to be able to grant us access to kind of the weird pathing space right here on this right hand side. Now, we don't really have access to it because there is a door blocking our way that requires all eight. Now, hopefully we should be able to find the other ones. There's one right over here. Uh, there's one around here elsewhere. We'll be able to find them, I'm assuming. So let's go ahead and explore around the area and see what we really can find here. So we keep on moving on through. Honestly, again, I've been loving this game, and it's a real shame that it has been coming to a close. We can dash through that now, which is just fantastic. Dash across. Oh, hello there, good sir. Have you heard about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Because you're about to meet him. Ow! So apparently so am I. Thank you. <laughs> but you go first, and please, no, after me. Uh, but yeah, we are been having a lots of fun playing this game, but although it is a little bit of a shame that it is coming to a close here soon, I think we're going to be finishing off the south side and I have no idea what really comes next. I am going to assume there's gonna be kind of one grand finale, a big battle, something of the sort, take them out before they even have a chance to move. I imagine that there's gonna be kind of a big, big, bad, kind of big boss fight. Maybe, I, honestly, I can't even really speculate what's gonna happen because I only know the four cardinal directions, north, south, east, and west. I, I don't know why I really had to think about that last one there for a second. Let's keep an eye out, anything to explore in the, oh, hello, hey, I just saw something. I know I saw something, there it is. Oh, we got some invisible pathing going somewhere around here. Keep on following the nice little paths. And um, where are we going? Oh, you know, I still have yet to be answered on exactly what these monoliths mean. Um, I I don't really know. They they light up. There's a strange man there. He points at some things, almost like Obi-Wan Kenobi type of situation or Qui-Gon Jinn, like letting you know that, hey, there's another path. I don't know what's going on. Some weird force ghost, but uh, I'm assuming that they're important to some degree. So I'm glad that we managed to find at least one more. Keep on moving along the territory. Oh, well, surprisingly, this one only needs one core to actually open up the door. So we were supposed to find this a lot sooner and I have apparently just been completely blind and I did not find it. To keep on moving through but yeah we have been Ooh, okay don't you dare we have been having lots of fun ah, oh it teleported me back over it teleported me over nothingness i just fell to my death come on now we still have two health left so i can go ahead and maybe take one more shot and not be too concerned well now this looks like something or maybe nothing oh wait a second i could have swore i saw you pop up aha i knew i saw you pop up it's a little bit inconspicuous a little bit hard to tell what did i find I think I found a med kit, which honestly I am going to be needing here pretty soon. That's not, that's not a lie. Um, a little concerned with all these explosives. Keep them moving through. Uh, no, okay. But what are we going to be playing after Hyperlight? You know, there are a couple of games that have been on my radar. Frostpunk 2 has recently come out, although I'm not, I'm probably not going to do a whole series on that. I could do a couple of episodes, but I think I'd like to leave that a little bit more for some live streams. So, hey, maybe look forward to, I believe I'm going to do it this Sunday. I'm going to do a live stream of Frostpunk 2, do it maybe a couple of few hours, taking a look at what the game has to offer. You know, I did play Frostpunk 1, and I did actually do a video on Frostpunk 1 when we had the competition week to see who would win the best video of the week and got the most kind of content made out of it. And if I remember correctly, what won? I think it was, what, what ended up winning? I can't remember what ended up winning. I think Hades was close to winning. I can't exactly what won that competition, but Frostpunk 1 was on the chopping block. It didn't quite get that many views, not that many likes, not a lot of people looked at it, but it did all right comparatively to the other ones. Surprisingly, I think it was City Skylines that, uh, yeah, City Skylines 2 that did the worst. And, uh, you know, City Skylines is all right, but it's not really good gameplay to, like, watch you actually play. Usually when you're watching City Skylines, like, you know, episodes, you're typically doing a very meme you know kind of like episode like okay today's episode we're gonna make a giant poop volcano and that's not even without exaggeration you know i 
I watch a real civil engineer. I'm pretty sure he has made a giant poop volcano. Although let's be real here. A lot of YouTubers make a lots of different structures that involve sewage water, I guess I'll call it. Ooh, barely make it across. I can't help but feel so that, ah, I, I was gonna say, I can't help but feel so I'm missing some kind of extra stuff over here. Moving through this territory kind of un, uncombated. Ooh, I, what's going on? I need to activate another icon. Oh, an invisible icon to activate on top of a visible icon. Very interesting. And it seems to lead over to here to another gold coin, which God, I wish I knew what they were called. You know, for a game, I love this game. I really do. But it makes it really hard to um, really kind of figure out exactly everything that you're talking. Can I make that jump? Oh, no, it goes off to the left. It really makes it hard to kind of talk and dictate exactly what it is that you're trying to explain to people when you don't know any context of what really anything is. You know, I have not really had the opportunity to really read up on that Wikipedia and what everything is called and what's the story going on behind it. The game itself should be able to kind of just display that and tell us themselves, but without any context or, or you know, dialogue or anything of the sort really on screen to kind of divulge or read into or vocally kind of express, you kind of just have to, oh God, I need it. You need to go away, please. Ah, no, 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 ooh, that was close. Let me use a med kit now. Um, Yeah, let's just, let's just, let's just get, you need to stop. You need to stop. I did not ask for this. You are honestly just being rude. Grenade. Nice. Got all three of them with that one. Come on, lay off your shot again. Oh, you got through the corner? That's cheating. That's cheating. You can't do that. That's against the rules. Uh, we see a path off to the right and a path off to the left. Uh, let's go, let's go left. Let's go left. But yeah, you know, I, we will probably be playing a little bit of Frostpunk 1 on the channel. Maybe doing a little bit of a live stream. Try it and I dash right off the edge and trying to see exactly what it's all about. You know, or not Frostpunk 1, Frostpunk 2. And it was kind of fun, but not really my forte. Kind of a city builder, a, uh, it's a survival mechanic as well, you know, in a way. It's, uh, it's, it's different. It's a different kind of genre. Something that's not quite your typical, you know, survival type of, you know, scenario. Go ahead and get this. Just a med kit. Anything else in the area? Oh, well, we do get a gold coin. Nice. We do now have two on ours. There we go. But something that I am actually probably going to bring to the channel as a new series is that there is a new game com coming out called Capes. Now, it reminds me heavily of Miasma Chronicles, which, you know, Miasma Chronicles is also the same style of XCOM, where you have, you know, your heroes, you kind of have your turns, you have, you know, your abilities and all that stuff and whatnot. But I think Capes is going to be really nice. XCOM, I've always kind of strayed a little bit away from. Simply because maybe I'm just so late to the party that there's gonna be a lot of criticism of just playing the game in general. There's gonna be a lot of, there's, there's, it's very developed. It's a large community. And honestly, it just something about its style never really sat well with me. But I think Miasma Chronicles was an amazing game. That is still probably one of my favorite games ever at this point. I, I, I loved it. I did a long series on it. The only thing that is a little bit disappointing is the fact that I did it very early on in my YouTube kind of, you know, quote unquote career. So I didn't exactly get seen by too many people. I think like the first episode or two did really well, but not a lot of people picked up on it. But again, I've probably mentioned this game several times over my kind of, you know, over the months and years of, you know, making content. And it really is still one of my more favorite games. And I've yet to find another game that has a story like that. Something that is just so developed, something that's so fleshed out, something of the sorts. And honestly, I, I loved it. But in that same style, it was very much like XCOM of this kind of turn-based style of just heroes and whatnots. But I'm excited to play. I think Capes is something that's gonna be a little bit more involved as well. Something with some kind of in-depth story, a little bit more of that turn-based style, which again, I, it's gonna be good to kind of get back into it. I've really, the only game I've ever played like that has been Miasma Chronicles. I know of other games like that, but I've never played any other games like that. So it'll be good to kind of get into that situation and you know, we haven't really found any extra cores now that I think about it. I feel like we would have found some by now. I saw that there's a little bit of a boss room looking area. I'm going to throw a grenade now. Oh, God, where am I? Where am I? Okay, I'm below his feet. You're right. <laughs> I'm being stepped on right now. Mommy. <laughs> oh, God, keep out of here. Um, okay, dodge that. Got dodge again. Take out you, buddy. I don't need you around. I'm going to heal up using med kit. Let him jump around. Jump, jump, jump around. Yeah, there we go. That is the boss room right right there do i want to do that right now because that is going to give us probably one of the cores right but i we've missed a core back here somewhere there is a core back here somewhere i don't want to do the boss room just yet i want to find out where this other core is we've definitely bypassed it along the way is it's somewhere around here let's let's backtrack a little bit 
because I believe there was another door that we never went through either, right? Earlier, there was a door off to the right that we didn't go up towards. So let's go see what that's all about. Anything that wasn't over here, it was back. What? Did I just walk off the... How did that happen? I looked away for half a second to look in the other direction, and next thing you know, I'm falling off and dead. Um, can I get through here? No, not quite. Um, back through the doors, I suppose. I wonder if I can kind of hit that from another side or anything of the sorts. Kind of backtracking a little bit. Where is it that I've messed up? Where is it that I've missed stuff? Can I jump across here? Yes, I can. Just a little bit of a med kit, though. Not necessarily anything too important. Oh, but we do find another coin. Beautiful. And there's that beautiful word. Oh, why? Oh, Jesus. Okay, you were not here a second ago at all. Come on, jump at me. Yeah. Yeah. Now, we went down south already. That was another collectible. Not quite the core that we are searching for, but ah, here is the door I was talking about. Another door that goes up. Are you leading towards another core? I would really hope so. I would like to get all of them. I think I know where another one might be. We have we have the boss room. We there's got to be one back over here, at least even according to the map. There's got to be one over here somewhere. Jesus Christ. Um. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. There's a lot going on. Keep dodging through, keep dodging through. Nice. Not too concerned. Oh, there's a med kit there. Ooh, okay. You know, let's just knock you away, please. You're gonna have to come to me. Yeah, you're gonna come around the corner. Wait for it. Wait for it. Yep, yep. keep dodging. Not off the edge. <laughs> Not off the edge. No. What has that done for us? That did lower down a lot of different walls, but what has that done for us? Is it just a little bit of a shortcut towards whatever this room's going to be? Um, let's find out. Oh, God, I, I'm always surprised by a lot of things in life. Yeah, nice. He got bumped into the explosives and take a hit from the little goblin boy, little hobgoblin. Get this med kit on the other side. This should heal me up automatically. There we go. Up to full health. It does appear to aha I was about to say this definitely appears to be leading somewhere and there we go there is one of our cores nice now now let's go towards that boss room and see what's all up about that excuse me hang on excuse me what did I just figure something out while I'm trying to oh wait Oh my god, okay, I didn't know that I have been playing this game for almost like eight hours and this is the first I've ever seen this happen. I one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh Jesus. Yo I got it. <laughs> it's straight off the edge. How fast can I kill myself? Well, let's let's get a speed run going. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. So this is what was happening in that room, that dash room. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, ah, no. <laughs> Did I beat my record of killing myself? <laughs> My god, okay, I hope uh, I'm gonna have to find another med kit up around here. I just lost some dumb health falling off the edges, just figuring out that I can dash super fast. Huh, and, you, right, yeah, and you cannot stop easy either. I'm, I hope there's another med kit around here somewhere. I do not want to be going into the boss room on three health. That is uh, not exactly what you one would call a bueno. I, is that correct? I, I don't really know Spanish. Like, I never had to learn Spanish back in school. Even if I did, that's gonna be like be like oh god 11 years ago something like this how old am i i'm 29 uh, you graduated like 18 yeah that would have been like 11 years ago yeah no I, I never really learned spanish somehow i vicariously learned better about russian than i have about spanish uh, anyway <laughs> let's keep on moving forward i guess we're going into this first battle a little bit damaged oh boy um Right. Uh, look, we've only been recording for like maybe like 14 minutes here. I feel like I already am feeling stressed and like stiff. I need to stretch my arms a little bit. Those of you who are sitting at home, have you had a long day at work? Have you had a long day at school? Have you had a long day in general just being existing? I tell you, it can really get to you. And you know what? A lot of the times when you feel like you've just been sitting there being a potato, it really can just benefit as I kind of move away from the mic to just stretch a little bit here's some healthy advice for you just get up and move a little bit i don't care how thin big wide tall short you are just stretch a little bit get that air moving and also i'm kind of definitely not procrastinating try to put off the fact that i'm about to get my ass kicked probably like four times in a row <laughs> okay 
Okay. Oh boy. Let's get ready, boys, girls, and everyone in between. Let's get started. Oh boy. I hope I don't gotta play the silence game again, because <laughs> that is not always great for content. Oh, I gotta step forward. You're not gonna just automatically start it for me. One small step for man and one large step for neon kind, I suppose. Am I even a man? Am I, am I even alive? Am I a human? I don't know. Let's go. Oh, look at that sound. Oh, Jesus Christ. He is a bowman. He shoots really fast. You know, this might not be. Oh, I, I can dodge. I can block his shots with my dash. That's not bad. Beautiful. He is dropping what looks like mines, uh, I guess. Okay, a uh, grenade. Yeah, how do you like them apples, Boyle? Yeah, I, they're, they're not apples. They're, they are grenades. Uh, I, I'm actually not doing half bad here. I'm going to heal up. I just realized I'm at one health. Dodge, dot, dodge. I don't want to get too close to him. Yeah, this is my opportunity to start doing a crap ton of damage. It's when he's standing still and firing into the air. Go, go, go. Come on, ball to the wall. Come back here. Yeah. Ooh, first try. First try. You throw that sword into the ground. There we go. Ooh, God, I am so good at this game. <clears throat> future editor me definitely just cut out any part where um i definitely have always said i'm really bad at the game yeah you retroactively go edit all of those like nine other episodes or like eight other episodes and just remove all those parts please thank you all right great <laughs> you can already see myself in the future just putting some text down below like yeah no i'm not doing that <laughs> i mean look when i when i talk to editor editor is me me myself and i we are a great group of guys all three of us we get along sometimes <laughs> sometimes that was actually pretty darn good i'm surprised but although with oh i'm coughing i'm bleeding Oh, ah, you know, I'm starting to get the feeling that this is like one giant living, breathing machine. We saw two giant eyeballs. We saw what looked like a giant monster. And now we got a giant beating heart. I s the sound of this heart is a little bit concerning. Just so you guys can be concerned along with me. I'll let you listen in for a few seconds. Okay, um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and move on. I, I don't like, I, I don't like what I'm seeing, hearing, nor experiencing at this moment in time. I'm gonna keep moving. Oh, look at that. Hang on, let's go back. Look at that elder god back there. That giant automaton. Yeah, there, there is a large sense of lore here that we have got to uncover, and hopefully a lot more will become clear as we kind of progress along this storyline. But back up, yeah, back up to the top, I suppose. Where is it gonna be leading us? Is it to the core room? We have yet to find another core. Is it around here? Did I did I miss it? I would have figured that there would have been a core there. Well, that is the last pylon. Wow. Yeah, I love that sound. Okay, we've got all four of them now unlocked. What is... Oh. So the center is now blinking. Is the center going to be like another boss? Well, hang on a second. Did I, I, I we're missing a core here. Did we not get a core when we defeated the boss? Hang on. I might need to backtrack a little bit. Where did, did I somehow accidentally just walk right by it? Because usually there's like always a core right after these bosses and we're still missing two. I think I know where one is, but oh, can I not go back? I cannot go back. Okay, one second. I'm gonna have to go search around for this thing. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Please give me a crest, give me a crest, give me a crest. Oh, there you are, there you are, don't you dare. Ooh, that was close, that was really close. Okay, good, I actually have two health left. I thought that thing was gonna smack me there all of a sudden. There we go, there's the other core I've been searching for. Ah, it was just right off to this side. I was, doing, I was doubling back, looking at the area, and I noticed that I I should probably should have been keeping a better eye out for this stuff for a long time, but okay. But those, come on, let me look at this. That little weird square thing on the left-hand edge, that little kind of highlighted square, or rather that translucent looking square, I should have been keeping an eye out for those because that apparently are like secret passages. So let me go ahead and get out of the range of this bad boy. Thank you very much. Uh, that's right. So now let's go take a look at where I think the very final core is because I discovered this a little bit while we we're kind of searching around while we we're kind of where I was kind of playing a little bit offhand, just looking around. 
we need to go back towards the big central area. So before we move on to the big main core in the center of the in the center of the map, more or less, because I don't know how I want to now separate these episodes because I don't know if going in there is just going to be a big boss battle. Is it going to be an entirely new area? Is it going to have to see something I'm going to explore again and spend another hour doing? Is it? I, I have no idea. I have no idea what is entailed for us. So I might just leave the episode off a little bit shorter. I'm not entirely certain. I don't know. Yeah, there you are. There you are down there into the stairs down below into the darkness oh okay okay well i i didn't realize that we needed to clear the south side in order to even open this up to begin with because i saw the stairs and i never went down here because i didn't want to spoil anything for myself so we actually needed to clear this regardless to come clear this to open this up okay very nice ah huh. right uh dodge 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 oh oh Oh, I see what's going on here. I need to use that fast dodging mechanic that I was doing before. Okay, let's see if I can get this right. And go, 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 go. I'm not very good at this. <laughs> I need to get there and under my health bar. Okay, I'm not going to heal up. Oh, God. God. <laughs> no. Okay, come on. Keep on going. God. Yeah, I'm uh, not very good at this. I also don't really know how the mechanic works yet. I just discovered this. Um... Let's try again. We got one last health. Boom, 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 boom. Not boom, 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 boom. I want you in my room. I want you forever. I want you in my room. Boom, boom, boom. I don't know the rest of the lyrics. I don't know any of the lyrics. I probably got that wrong regardless. Write your lyrics down below in the comments. <laughs> if you like my singing, then you got to like the video because my singing is in the video. So you got to like it. <laughs> All right. Let's try to give ourselves maybe a little bit of an angle. No. Okay. Boom. Uh, boom. Boom. I don't really understand how this mechanic works. No. <laughs> I mean, I kind of get how it works in a straight line. I don't know how it works with turning corners. So let's try this again. Boom, 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 boom. I, I can't, I can't dodge again. I'm running out of dodge. Boom, 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 boom. I, I can't. Huh. This is gonna take some getting used to. Yeah, I can't. I don't, I don't understand how the mechanic works. How do I, how does this function? I, hmm, hmm. I mean, we obviously have to go this way, but... I, I, hmm, okay, this is, this is gonna take a moment. Just, just get, fast forward the rest of the footage. Future me, just fast forward the rest of the footage of me dying like a hundred times in a row. Ready, set, go. took way too long that took way too long that was like what like 20 30 attempts something like that my god oh god okay thank you and it gives me a path back oh that is majestic that is a miracle i thank you for giving me a path back i, I did it right like ah. okay good it's gonna be right there <laughs> uh okay you know what fine whatever we have all of the cores now we can go uh okay good it automatically kind of knows the path 
we can now go take a look at uh <laughs> at that door that's been blocking us off which i think is somewhere down here question mark yes it is oh <laughs> okay and one two three yeah no i don't i really do not understand that mechanic at all i uh i don't know how you turn with it and you know what i think i will be perfectly fine without it if unless there becomes another puzzle along the way which there may be uh, I do, I, ooh, God, hmm, sweating <laughs> sweating i gotta tell you i stayed perfectly calm the entire time definitely didn't get a little bit angry at all no no i am a calm and collected man i am a very reasonable youtuber that definitely does not get a i'm going oh there's a tunnel above me i could have swore it was the sky my bad for assuming there were clouds uh no we're ab above the clouds now wait then how where did the where did the tunnel but there's no tunnel below this platform okay okay you're not just gonna leave it at that i'm just gonna leave it that's perfectly fine and oh god okay there is a lot of this happening now I'm gonna keep on dodging through, dodging through, dodging through everything, dodging through. Coughing again. Hey, that wasn't so bad, right? Can I turn them all off with this button? Oh, thank God, I just heard a power down noise. I'm assuming that they're all turned off now. Huh. Ooh, look, listen to that music, though. Yeah. Come on. Oh, God, I love myself a good soundtrack. I, I really, really do. Um, that looks like a good place for a grenade. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. The floor falls up beneath you in some locations. Noted. Uh, lots of little goblin boys. Lots of little goblin boys. And a kind of shooter out in the back. One fell down into his death. That is perfectly fine. It, it makes me laugh on the inside. We got a couple more shooters. I'm going to let them keep on dropping down to their doom because that seems a lot more useful and better for my time. Get away from me. Hello there, little slime boys. Oh, we got some bigger kind of hobgoblins coming. Get rid of you guys. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Fantastic. You guys are kind of keeping your distance. That's probably better. Honestly, it's, it's probably... And I knocked myself off with my own weapon again. Which has only happened a few times so far. Which is, you know, not uh, not that bad. I, I think that's the first time it's happened this episode, at least. And oh, get out of the way. Let him fall. Let him fall. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we got a couple more enemies. I'm going to use a med kit now. Pick up this med kit. And that really is a really big hobgoblin. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to use another medkit. Uh, drop, 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 please. Just fall down. I need to take you guys out, like, soon. And by soon, I mean now. And I mean, I mean now. I really need to get rid of you. And by that, I mean just fall. Just fall. Yeah. Ow, ow, ow. Shoot you off the edge, please. You are not falling off the edge, are you? Oh, he tried to swing at me. I don't like that. Keep my heal up, heal up. And he fell. Good. Very good. Um, don't you dare drop on top of me. Never mind. I'll just fall down on my own. There are a lot of enemies. Oh, can I get him to fall down? No, not quite. Oh, come on. I'm just going to smack him in the face. Yeah, there we go. Dodge over here. He still manages to land on top of me. I can't get up. I can't get up. I can't get up. I can't get up. Once you're knocked down, you cannot get back up again. What can I say? It's it's just like that song, you know, where you need to get knocked down, get back up again. There's something of the sort. It did not let me get back up again. I, it lied. It lied. Fall down, please. Yes, I'm going to start using these a little bit more to my advantage because they are super effective. Yeah, take you out. Beautiful. Let the next wave kind of spawn here soon. Let's be a little bit more methodical about this. Do a triple slash. Nice. Let that fall down. Cool. Keep my distance I'm trying to stay away from these falling platforms the best that i can dodge through his projectile because i can block them via that way nice anyone left okay i'm gonna activate this let you guys fall yeah there we go save myself the effort you know dodge Ooh, two of them fell down that time very good you know honestly for me losing one health for falling down i wouldn't be opposed to just having them all gather up on top of me then fall down with them you know you know if you know just get out of here just get out of here i'm gonna focus you down my good man Yep, yeah, okay, there we go. We got two more. I'm, I'm gonna activate this. I'm gonna activate this, and you are not gonna like it. Yeah, come on, fall. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna activate this one as well. Use that medkit. Nice. He managed to dodge off of that platform, though. Please move, move, move. There we go. Throw a grenade at them. I'm gonna get this medkit. God, there's just so much. There's so much. There's so much. I, I just used my medkit. Excuse me? Excuse me. I just used my medkit. How's I already out of health? 
not even recognizing me getting hit. God, there's so many enemies. I don't know how to combat any of this. There's just too much going on. Like it's almost impossible to dodge all this stuff. There's no way. It's just too much. I was dodging through you. Come on. Okay, use another med kit. There we go. Be more methodical about it. I'm smacking you. I don't know how you're able to hit me. I guess because there's no knockback in this game. That's fine. Or there's no there's no hit stunning. Ah, uh, God. This game just does things so backwards that my mind will never be able to wrap itself around. I, I just, I cannot comprehend all the new mechanics of this system compared to what I'm used to. Why did you, why did you get thrown that way? First of all, yeah, just take you all out with a single grenade. Thank you. There we go. I'm going to focus you down again. Don't want to let you even hit me. Yep, 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 yep. He's going to try to shoot projectiles again. He got one hit on me. That's fine. Uh, use my, use, you know, I need to use my gun a little bit more often too because there, I'm taking way too many hits being up close. Going to heal up immediately so I don't accidentally get myself killed again. Still somehow managing to take fire around the corner. Whatever, a bunch of them just fell. I'm going to have you fall down as well. God, I... Oh my god! <laughs> no! How is this possible? How is this possible? There, you can't... Like, if, if, I, I, I don't know how to do this. Like, I'm running out of dodges. I'm running out of health. I'm running out of grenades. I don't know how to make this thing operate properly. And I swear to god, I guess my brain is just so hardwired to have people be stun locked when I hit them. I'm so wired to having a dash strike. I really wish I had a dash strike ability in this game. I don't know. Ugh, I, my brain, my brain, I, it will never be Hades. It'll never be Hades. And you know, to be fair, I did like Hades, but I didn't even like it that much. But I definitely played it a lot. So I guess my brain is just so hardwired to have that dash strike. I, I really wish there was a system like that. But you know what? As no one's going to change it like 10 years later at this point, or like eight years later. I have one health. Take him out. Use a med kit. Knight. God, that, that knockback. That knockback is ridiculous. Come on, just take you out now. Don't know how you're able to hit me so up close. Just use your melee weapon. Why are you shooting? That doesn't seem logical. Dodge out of the way. Dodge out of the way. I'm going to use a med kit immediately again because I apparently just take damage out of absolutely nowhere. Oh boy, there is a lot going on. I'm going to collect these up. Yep, taking damage for no apparent reason. That's fine. That's fine. Well, I mean, I know the reason is because I'm being shot. <laughs> but I just, I can't comprehend what's going on. The more action goes on, the faster I talk. Okay, that definitely hit me through the wall. That definitely hit me through the wall. Get out of here, you cheating bastard. Take you out, please. There we go. Use a med kit. Who else is left? What other bullshit are you about to spawn? Of course, it's one of you again. I, oh, you can't dodge through enemies? That's been my problem. You can't dodge through enemies. Since when has that been a thing? How am I like eight hours in this game and I'm just realizing this now? You can't dodge through enemies. Oh, you know, I really, really wish I knew that beforehand. Oh, come on. Come on, medkit. I really, really wish I knew that beforehand. There is absolutely no tutorial in this game. <laughs> I, I, I'm still figuring out mechanics at this point. I don't, I, I don't know. I have no other words besides the fact that I, how was I supposed to know about this? How am I supposed to know about these mechanics? I don't understand. Throw a grenade, hurt them. Please just dash, dash hit this guy or whatever. Not even a dash strike. Who else is left? Are you done? Are you done? Do you succeed? Or do I succeed? Are we finished? God, I really hope so. I really hope so. Right, there's a med kit over here. Thank you. I need them. I need them real bad. Any other health around this area? No. God, I, I don't. I, I'm out of words. I'm out of words. Honestly, I wish I could commentate better, but my brain is just fried at this point. And all this work, all this effort, all these eight cores... To look at some dead body what am i logan paul <laughs> we got a new weapon okay you better be good if you're not good you got rid of my uh you got rid of my other weapon that's fine i mean it looks like a cool rail gun don't know what, exactly what that does but it's there i mean what if we just nice all right well we are gonna go teleport back to the base we need to go teleport back like now because i I, I am so dumbfounded right now. I am beside myself. I am at a loss for words, even though I keep on talking. I am amazed. I have no idea what just happened, but we did survive. Let's go take a look at exactly what's happening in the center of the map. Because my God, whew, 
I'm out of breath. <laughs> the more, the faster the action happens, the faster I talk, and the more it just keeps on happening. Do I want that? I kind of do. I kind, I kind of want to just keep this laser gun. Maybe it does a crap ton of damage, considering it's the south side, the very last room, and we also had to go through all that to go ahead and find it. We may as well use it to the best of our ability. We may as well upgrade it as well. It only costs two. We have three. There we go. Very nice. And yeah, we'll we'll keep our regular pistol while we have everything. Kind of take a look. Yeah, we'll keep our regular pistol and we'll keep our laser gun. It looks like kind of like a rail gun almost as well. Oh boy, my God, that was a lot happening. So do I continue the episode and go into there, whatever the room that is? Is it going to be a final boss room? Is it just going to be an entirely new area? You know what? I think I'm going to save this one for next episode, DigiDs, because I there's no way that this is just going to be a single like big boss room. That's going to be it. But let's be real here. Even if it is a big boss, I, I'm probably going to fail to it several times. And that in itself could be a video like versing the final boss. I died how many times? Big question mark thumbnail. I, look, you got to think ahead a little bit, I suppose. <laughs> My God, what an adventure. What an adventure, DigiDs. It has been a pleasure playing this game. And that means the next episode is probably going to be the finale. Which I'm going to assume so because we've gone through a lot of work and I'm guessing this is going to be the finale. So, hey, I still don't really know how to do any of these outros because God knows I always ramble on for way too long. But there's one thing I can always promise you. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you and bye bye.